You're very welcome to the special Sessie podcast. Today, we're joined by Dr. Tom Farrelly, the Gasta Master from Munster Technological University, and Dr. Mags Amond, a Sessie volunteer and Teach Meet researcher. They're in conversation at the Irish Learning Technology Association, or ILTA's, EdTech Conference in Sligo in May of 2024. Tom has just finished his second Gasta of the conference, and the conference proceedings have come to a close. They discuss the evolution of GASTA, the performative aspects, the similarities to Teach Meet, and a little bit more. Good afternoon. It's a lovely sunny Friday afternoon in Sligo, and I'm sitting here conversing with Dr. Tom Farrelly. We've just been at a conference. Tom has just run a GASTA session, and I'm going to ask him to tell us immediately in 30 seconds what a GASTA session is. GASTA session is a timed five minutes, and I know there's lots of timed five minutes, but genuinely does mean five minutes of rapid fire presentation. You get counted down by myself and the crowd. Hey, no, three car, Kuig, Shay, or not even Shay, hey, no, three car, Kuig, and then GASTA. With 10 seconds to go, I walk back on the audience, or back up onto the stage, I should say, and uh, then when the five minutes is up, I get the whole crowd to stop you. Uh, it adds a whole dimension because we're so used to sort of so called lightning talks. With Augusta, it really does mean lightning talk and having a lot of crack. And just on the word Gasta, Tom, I know you devised this this idea to inject joy into into conferences from your own head. Which came first, the word Gasta, and and I'll work around um, using that at the conference, or I want to do these short, joyful interludes at the conference, and I'll use the word Gasta. I'd say actually that's a good question. I'd say probably the the, the idea of of the short, joyful. And then looked around. I mean, obviously, you have the Pechacucha or Pechachka, depending on what way you want to pronounce it. So I wanted to give it some sort of Irish um, flavour or twist to it. So uh, I spoke to a number of colleagues. And it was actually one of my colleagues who was, who was a, a Gael Gore and suggested the word Gasta. So that's where it, where it came from. Yeah, it's very evocative. It really, really, it really, really works. And it, it's on the fringes of the conference, and yet it's within the conference. My friend Drew Buddy, who's who's a teach me um advocate, he would say there's a space at every conference for something like Gasta where you don't want to give a full fifteen minute, thirty minute presentation, but you've got a short idea and you want to you just want to share it. And maybe people who don't have another platform can can use it. How do you encourage people to to apply to speak at the Gasta session? Um well I suppose like uh, some of the like the conference like the Ilton one, it's becomes fairly well established though, so I think that but I think what's really good now and I've done it at Alt and the OER conference as well, so but I often have a residue of videos so I can sort of show to someone. So sometimes you'll have an organizer and he or she will say, I, I I'm I have come up with some ideas, but some people might be a bit nervous. So I've kinda of, I've written a standard you know standard phrase or standard briefing about, you know, what how to do it and then sort of but I mean, the main thing I suppose is that it does encourage us. Particularly, uh, it's funny actually. I know that uh, it's, the questions are really interesting because I've seen people, and the, one of the great thing is it's egalitarian. I don't care care who you are in in that sense. So, the postgrad one postgrad student said to me because I had previously just stopped a very senior academic, and he said, "I said no, I treat everybody the same," and that's part of the the fun of it. But there is a seriousness to it, as is, as you said there. It's about giving a shout out. I've seen people use the Gasta maybe for a crowdsourcing project or, or or maybe as I said it's a it's a short piece on research. I think it's really evolved and it's I think Gasta now is what I kind of envisaged it really was going to be. I think initially those people would often take a fifteen minute presentation and try and squash it into a five minute rather than really embrace the whole idea of the lightning. What's the one or two or three really key points? Far less words, lots of images, lots of interaction, and I'm. I'd have to say, I think the last year, maybe last year, certainly this year, I've done quite a few gases. I think this was my fourth gasta session in eight days. Uh, it's just it's, it's around the conference season as well, but I think it's really getting to where yeah, I, 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 I've tried to sort of convey to people what it is, but. Now, the more I, I, I see and people are really embracing it, I think it's really become what I hoped it would be. That's a very long answer. Sorry about that. No, no, it's 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 a good answer. And you have those videos you mentioned. I think they're at gasta.me. Yes, gasta.me. That's, yes. that's, that's where we can send people. One of the things that's lovely about it is it, it injects some, it, it injects energy 
into the conference in the middle of the day or at the end where we're a little bit, we're, we're all weary, but we're, we're learning together. And it's, it's us all in the auditorium together, not at the keynote. I think I'm, I'm going to put that in for the effect it has on me is the collective community together, having a bit of fun, all learning. Six gospels in a row, we learn six things, but in a half hour. Yes. So th- that 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 actual gas the word is is really really good in my world in the teach meet world we'd call it a nano presentation. Yeah. Now one of the things that's and I think this is because the MC is so important. There's a bit of gamesmanship in it, isn't there? There is. There's uh, a bit of gaming and performance in it. Yeah, and and I suppose you you would be one of my foils uh, in in the terms that you know it's always good if there's someone I know. Or I know they're a good sport and stuff, so I can sort of lean in a bit and create a bit of sort of having a foil and having a bit of crack with them, just to set the set the scene a little bit more there like that. But yes, it is a gamesmanship. But I'm also sort of reminding people, you know, that we are here to to look at stuff. But yeah, it's I am performing, I am playing playing the part of the gas the master, um, and I'm quite happy to be to sort of you know make fun of myself as well. I think that's the thing because it's never and nothing is ever done in you know. Is intended to make people feel uncomfortable or a little bit of time pressure, but not uncomfortable. A little bit of ribbing and a little, little ribbing. all all in the best possible taste, taste. as Kenny of, as Kenny Everett, Everett um, say, yes, used to yeah. say. So you you came to our SESI conference. I should have said at the outset, I'm I'm a volunteer at the Computers and Education Society in Ireland and injected a gas the feel to our conference. And I, I I can I can say definitely it it did what it said on the tin. I think we'd probably invite you. Again, and I think that's maybe where we'll we'll wrap up with this with this podcast today. But we'll be back with more depth and yeah, happy I- happy to information. Come back and, talk. and can I just say the sessi was it was a really brilliant uh, set of gossips. People really really leaned into it and really got it. And judging by the reaction, I, I think people yeah, we appreciate a good nano presentation at sessi. So thanks a million, Tom, and we'll be back. Thanks, Max. Thanks so much for listening, folks. The music you heard today was by Eamon Costello. We'll link to his SoundCloud in the show notes.